Hello, it's Mike here. Thanks for your time. I uh, just wanted to let you know that we have new merch available to celebrate the launch of the new Extinction Season of Ox Venture. Um, loads of exciting new stuff. My favourite item is the new Inspiration Token, which can be granted by your favourite GM for let's be honest, probably dreadful puns. Uh, that's probably mainly what it's going to be used for. But whatever you whatever you see fit to uh, to grant inspiration for in your own campaigns, that's what it's there for. Essentially handed out willy-nilly for excellent inspiration-worthy uh, acts and feats within your D&D game. We also have t-shirts with our wonderful new artwork from Colin Craker. Wonderful colours and, and uh, a kind of extinction theming there. We also have a brand new pin badge featuring the Extinction artwork as well, which is pretty exciting. Uh, and also, it's worth pointing out that the Oxfench figurines, which we're very excited about, have now started shipping. So if you order one now, it will be distributed now, essentially. Um, so yeah, if you're waiting on that, uh, please do go and check out those figurines. They're very, very cool. Finally, uh, there's a deep discount on a bunch of older Oxfench merch. So if you want to go and pick up something at a cheaper price, uh, that stuff's there as well. So yeah, head over to store.outsidexbox.com. There's a link in the description below as well for if you don't want to type it out. Totally understand. Save the wear on those fingers. And uh, hopefully we'll see you over there. Hello there, wonderful Ox Venture viewers. I hope you are excited for an all new adventure. But uh, before we jump into some more dino themed antics, I have some extremely exciting news for our friends across the pond. Now, you might remember that the last time we did a live show there was in 2019, and uh, we're gonna break that dry spell, and we're gonna be over there at PAX East this March in Boston on the Saturday, three o'clock in the Dragonfly Theatre. Maybe Merylwen will turn into a dragonfly. Who knows? Because it's going to be an all new adventure for all of you to enjoy live. And we are so excited. It will be myself, Andy, Mike, Luke and Johnny as literally everyone else in the world. And we cannot wait to do silly things on stage in front of all of you. And hey, across the pond maybe in that pond we will dredge up some of our gold that Dob keeps throwing in there. Hmm. If you don't already have tickets to Paxi's, don't worry, they're on sale now. You can still go get some and they are in the link in the description. There's a little link or you can go to east.paxsite.com and gather those up and come and be like, yeah, Marilyn's the best. This show has been made possible by Mage Hand Press and their upcoming Kickstarter for their D&D 5e supplement, The Book of Extinction. This new book of monsters is a compendium of extinct animals resurrected in D&D 5e. Go to deadmonstermanual.com to find out more and get ready for the Kickstarter. So a huge thank you to Mage Hand Press and we hope to see loads of you there. In the meantime, enjoy the new episode of Extinction. just been shown a triceratops that is foaming at the mouth All right. and thrashing about and generally having a terrible time. So the hand is on my shoulder right and mm -hmm. um, okay. Uh, oh I see Dog trying to seduce the elderly rich man <laughs> yourself are you? <laughs> I turn to the guy and I say uh, yep whatever you need happy to help and then I would like to grab Suzette in a huddle mm -hmm. away from everyone and be like Suzette yeah. <laughs> that Triceratops clearly has rabies. Yeah. Did you tell this guy that I can cure rabies? No, I didn't. No, I didn't say that. It, it just kind of, it just kind of came up. It was like, oh, not again. It's another species we've tried to bring back from extinction. This one's got they rabies as well. They keep getting rabies? Yeah, I, we don't know why. That's okay. what we're trying to solve. All right. And I said, oh, that's funny because my brother had rabies. You know like how you kind of do? That like, is oh. Funny. <laughs> 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 I guess he had to be. Sea. Sure, I've holidayed in Tanner's Folly. And I said, oh, my brother had rabies. And he said, oh, I'm so sorry for your loss. And I said, no, it's okay, he's still alive. And he said, what? And I said, yeah. And he said, 
how, how is he still alive? And I said, I don't know. I went to find the cure and then I didn't see him and we got estranged and then and we found each other. probably assumed that I did I, know how that, okay, well, don't well, worry no, about it. No, I don't think, no, I, 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 I did Don't worry about it, Suzette. Okay. You're lucky your brother's a consummate showman. Okay. And I turn around and go, all right, rabies cure you want, is it? Okay, all right, it's been a little while. Okay. Now, when I had rabies, uh, the one thing that I remember was how I cured it. Um, and I mean, you see oh, yeah. <laughs> Professor Hammerdell's face light up like this is more wonderful than I imagined. <laughs> yeah, yes. Um, so well, the cure is in Dob. We simply feed Dob to the Triceratops. Problem uh, solved. Well, yeah, the secret must be in his blood. Or it could yeah. be just on his skin. So let it lick him for a while first. Look, the Triceratops will lick me plenty. But if lick, lick, what? <laughs> Arr, lick, lick, Arr, lick, lick me plenty, plenty. <laughs> <laughs> the horn of plenty. <laughs> right, look, Dob, Apert, <laughs> Corazon, and me, all being stripped of inspiration. No inspiration for any of us. If licking Dob was the cure to rabies, I would have cured it straight away. But it was a little more complicated than that. I simply think back to how I felt at the time, which was so scared of water. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, that I would die. Yes, I remember it now. What cured my rabies was being so scared. We must scare this Triceratops. I mean, I don't know much about medicine. Oh, here comes rabies expert Corazon. <laughs> I just, I don't think that. <laughs> Less chat, more scaring that Triceratops. I don't want to show up, Susan. Suzette, I don't want to show you up in front of your boss. I think. If anything, you're overplaying it. Really? She pulls you back into a huddle. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Your head's clocked together with uh, a orcish. Yeah. Cool. This, uh, all I said was you, you contracted rabies and you're still alive. Yes. And he thought that was interesting, so he okay. wanted to ask you about it and see if you could come up with the cure. Okay. Did you well, really cure it? No, I didn't really. I don't know. Why did you I tell don't know. You really cured it. You still have rabies? Because, Suzette, this goes one of two ways. You this guy dissects me. You bite us all He's so often. He's not going to dissect you. <laughs> how many times have I heard that? I don't know. And how, how many, many times, times have I been dissected? I don't know. Well, technically, it would be vivisected. Look. And he won't do that either. I don't know how to cure rabies. Okay. But, clearly, I got better from rabies. Did you? Yeah. Do you not still rabid? have rabies, though? Do you see any foam? No, it... What is that? Oh, that that might be the fish. I opened my mouth. <laughs> the fish is having a shower. It's laughing itself. So There's a fish that lives inside you. Yes. Yeah, I've all the fun. Well, <laughs> you wouldn't think it was so. Um, okay. Yes. You can study it later. I promise. Shing. There's a like, distinct sound of a sword being drawn from within your lung. <laughs> oh, I forgot. He's armed. <laughs> he's, and, he's, and he's so he's so mean. <laughs> and he can probably hear us. We need to change the subject before he just starts stabbing. Okay, all right, fine. Look, we need to just. I say we just try some stuff. Okay. Maybe back then when I had rabies, I cured it by via the same thought process. Okay. You can admit that you don't necessarily definitively Not know. now. Okay. Right. Not now that I've said all the stuff. Okay. Outside the huddle. I'm a prideful beast. Everybody. <laughs> yeah, everyone can hear all that. Yeah. <laughs> it's clear to everyone that I don't know how to. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, he's giving you privacy, but it's be like, do they do this often? They've not seen each other in ages. So catching probably, up, I imagine. Just catching up. Oh, stuff. Catch up. I can't imagine that Dob does still have rabies because he's bitten all of us at least once. Really? Yeah. We've, yeah, we've not. He's got bitten it. all of you. He's bi always biting. But he's he doesn't biter. like bathing. That's true. And you just what? Maybe the dirt has formed a protective seal not... over his saliva glands. No, no, no. I mean, there, yeah, always... hydrophobia is a, is a symptom right, yeah. of rabies, and he doesn't like water yeah. because he doesn't bathe. I, c I can't believe we're debating whether I have rabies. Yeah. Can you promise us that you don't have rabies? Yes. Okay, fine. Can... Although someone with rabies would say that. Yeah. We can do a very easy rabies test right now, I say. I take a glass of water and I hold it near Dob. What do you think of that? Uh, I smash it on my forehead like a cool keg. Stand move. Like, that sounds painful. Okay, so he doesn't mind water and is otherwise apparently healthy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Look, I clearly don't have rabies. Okay. I had rabies when I was little, and I'm over it. Well, then we should run some tests. But rabies is generally Dob, considered is to be physiology incurable. Why is everyone questioning me about rabies when none of you know anything about rabies and haven't had it? Well, not yet. I am. Going. I am guest's foremost expert. Okay. 
The secrets are the rabies well, cure. We need to run I some tests that besides now. you. <laughs> yeah. Get him I told stand. you I'd try and dissect me. No. They're leading up to a dissection. Vivisect. Not that, just want to scrape you a bit. Oh, that's how it starts. And yeah. then the scraping goes further and further into my skin and bones. I, we just want some tissue samples. From soaring, I plop down next to everyone and turn back into Meryl Wen. Okay. Uh, wood Elf form. And I go, surely, like, I'd just like to be like, surely the glasses oh, may be like... Meryl is also here to criticise my rabies cure. Mm -hmm. Okay, go for it. No, no, is there a, like just a tiny bit of blood there that we can just like use, use that? I vault it. I vault down into the triceratops oh enclosure. My. Okay. Uh, sure. Great. As he vaults, I take some of his blood. No. <laughs> <laughs> Antici just... Anticipating that you're all a load of bloodthirsty dob harvesters, <laughs> I uh, expertly I... evade you all. I'd like to check um, the shattered glass. <laughs> I cast Shatter on the Shattered Glass, atomizing it on my way down. You wouldn't have known I was going to do that. You're already too far away. No, I did know you were going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I knew she was going to do that. Let's just turn into a playground. It's all right, we'll just yeah. wait till he falls asleep and I then harvest his blood. Yes. Professor Hamadal is a safety forward kind of guy as evidenced by the fact he has a rabid triceratops, <laughs> but in a pit. Uh, so obviously the glasses he has in his facility are those kind of breakaway ones that turn into like harmless cubes of glass. Mm -hmm. uh, just, you know, like they have in all those pubs where people glass each other all the time. <laughs> and they're like, if we just make the glassing not worth it, they'll stop yeah. doing it. So no, there is no blood on the glass. Yeah. Oh, sweet, that's good. But there is a half-orc bard now mm. in a pit with a rabid triceratops and the triceratops has noticed you. Okay. okay. I lost animal friendship. <laughs> just do like, just be like, talk to him. <laughs> it's not going to work. Why not? Because its intelligence is two. Damn. And it speaks no languages. And it Damn. has rabies. <laughs> it has rabies. <laughs> but if the beast's intelligence is four or higher, the yeah. spell fails. Oh, four or higher. Oh. So it could work, except for it speaks no languages and has rabies. It doesn't say anything about languages. Oh, back, back to you. No, rules, I'm rules saying it's, that's an inanimate <laughs> card. I'm a living, breathing person. <laughs> and I'm He's your living, you, breathing DM. speak any languages. No language. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a triceratops exception, Johnny. Yeah. He's got rabies. Johnny, who's <laughs> running this game? Come on. <laughs> I agree, not me. <laughs> but in this matter... But if, it did, I, if it didn't have rabies, it would have worked. It's... No, I'm not committing to that, no! <laughs> what? DM Fiat! It's got rabies! <laughs> so that's what I'm saying, yeah! It's no, 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 no. I'm saying, you've, I'm saying, all I am saying is it's got rabies and it doesn't work. Okay, that I just wanted to understand... That does not mean if it didn't have rabies, it didn't work. Because there may be, in the future, <laughs> A, a situation in which this doesn't work, but the thing doesn't have rabies. Right. And I'm not talking myself into that kind of unholy pact. You've okay. had talked to trees before. Yeah, that's because you could speak with plants. plants. Well, well, I didn't know we could go back and get like a full breakdown on exactly why all the things we wanted to work didn't work. I have some... <laughs> <laughs> why did none of my plans work? <laughs> What's your plan, Just let Dob do whatever he's going to do to this trace You know, Well, at the moment, I'm just trying to avoid you all getting my blood unreasonably. What's your AC? Hi, probably. 14. <laughs> mm, it's not 22, though. Oh! Um, All right. Uh, hold on. This is how. Don't, don't worry, folks. There's going to be plenty of blood shortly. <laughs> Eight. You might be able to catch some in your mouth. Yeah. Uh, the, 13. <laughs> 16. The front three rows may get wet. Yeah. 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 23. Plus six. You take 29. Holy! You have been gored <laughs> by a triceratops <laughs> know, with right. rabies. He just very quietly went, don't. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if, if Dob's going to go, this is If Dob's going to die, go. I would <laughs> like it to be gored by a triceratops <laughs> while <laughs> passive aggressively making a point that I'm not entirely clear on what it is. <laughs> right, okay. you've, you've been fully like, you're, I'm going to say you're splayed out across its face and you've got like a, 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 a whole horn through your shoulder. All right, okay. And it's those like. How's the plan going, Dob? Okay. <laughs> right, time to scare the rabies out of this triceratops. <laughs> um, I would like to cast um, Major Illusion okay. to summon the, the 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 illusion of. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I suppose I'm very hurt. How much does Dob know about dinosaurs? I suppose probably not. 
No, no. Okay. These things were extinct. Uh, I summon the illusion of what Dob imagines would eat a Triceratops. Okay. What is that? What is that? Uh, it's like uh, it's a, a, a different Triceratops with like with a gun. pointy teeth. <laughs> oh, that is weird. Yeah, yeah, and it's kind of stood up on its hind legs, and it's like licking its lips. I think I can make it do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's lip smacking. It's its beak in a sucking yeah. sort of way. Yeah. All right, yeah, you can have that. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna make a wisdom insight check for this, this sucker. Um, okay. Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna act scared of it as well, I suppose, to try and <laughs> really sell it. it. Yeah. I, I'm amazed that you've been gored by a Triceratops, are still impaled on it, and you're having to act scared. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me tell you, I respect it. Um, <laughs> I pretend that I'm unsettled. <laughs> <laughs> Mildly inconvenienced, perhaps. Yeah. Sure. Uh, yeah, it, it kind of look, hmm? it looks up at you first. It's like, what's what's this thing pointing at? And then looks over. And all of you see the illusion of, it's a, it, an enormous like triceratops standing on its hind legs, which just looks weird, because its mm. hips have had to be rotated. And it's there with like, it's still got like a beaked mouth, but now it's lined with razor sharp teeth and somehow, with this horrible, like, long, snake-like tongue, it is managing to, like, lick it, like, smack its lips mm -hmm. that it doesn't have. Mm -hmm. It's like... <laughs> okay, good. The Triceratops absolutely loses it. Like, is, is... Just, it, it, it goes... And turns and starts to charge the other way. All right. Straight towards the wall. <laughs> now, if my theory is correct, the rabies should be leaving its body as we speak. <laughs> as a kind of mist or gas? I don't know. Dog. I was feverish when it happened to me. I would like you to make me a dexterity saving throw. Easy. Because what this Triceratops is doing, uh, with the roll I just made, is charging straight into the wall. Okay. With at speed. Orbit. The wall where I am? Or? Uh, no, well, you're, well, you're, 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 you're technically oh, between I'm still the Triceratops on and the wall. <laughs> <laughs> so make this one count. Yeah. Tell me what it was again. Uh, a dexterity Dex saving throw. You're regretting having that inspiration taken away now. Dexterity saving throw. Oh, that's. We all knew what we did. Yeah. <laughs> that's plus seven, to be fair. So all right. This would have to be pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. It's going to be fine. This is going to be a 15. Four. <laughs> plus seven is 11. You've, no, you've whiffed it. You've, <laughs> you've missed. Okay. So, okay, so it runs headlong into the wall. <laughs> okay. With you in between. Smash yeah. flat. It does it, its horns are kind of sticking out. Yeah, what's the wall made of? Probably paper or some sort of, <laughs> sort of tissue. Sort of, no, Is it an electric fence? It's, just, it's, <laughs> it's not an no electric fence. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, Wait, it's unless like electricity it. could be the rabies cure. Maybe I got struck by lightning when I was, you know, feverish with it as a, as a boy. Uh, no, it's it is a reinforced stone wall. It's like All a dry right, stone yeah. wall. Okay, cool. With rebar in it and stuff. <laughs> That's right. All of it sticking out and rusty. <laughs> oh, it's really not a safe environment. All right. Uh, okay. Let's see. How many hit points you want at the moment? Oh. How many you got it's none left? of your business. I think it might become our business fairly shortly when we're down one party now. <laughs> uh, I've got... I, did you want to know, Johnny? It wouldn't hurt to know. I've got 39. Oh, fine. I can still make the 3d10 damage. Uh, so you're taking another four, nine, 16 points of, uh, of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Because uh, the Triceratops has just run f full into the wall and just gone... I cast a message to Suzette. The message reads, experiment one, scaring out the rabies. Results suggest further study needed. <laughs> Commencing experiment two. <laughs> you uh, you just hit back and, I concur, please proceed. <laughs> yes, uh, he's at Triceratops is... Are we through the wall? The Triceratops is unconscious. And by unconscious, I mean, oh. I rolled a one and it's now comatose. Oh. Uh, so we're not sure if it will wake up. <sighs> so right. Professor Hammerdahl, do we have like rooms or something? I might just go and <laughs> drop my bags off. Uh, well, you're, uh, Denise <laughs> is ferrying your bags to, uh, okay, cool, to cool. your accommodation now. Are you sure you want to stay and watch this? It's very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's kind of... I have to say, uh, I, I really, I, 
I mean, obviously, I knew Suzette and Dub were related, but I really see it now. <laughs> Both of them very impulsive. Very impulsive. No regard for their, their physical safety. You know, the first time, the first time I called Suzette into my laboratory, she just walked in and said, hey, prof, what's the word? And they're just down the beaker of something. That's it, it turned out to be. Oh, wow. Damn. Sounds right. Sounds She's like hardy. That. You've got to give her that. She's hardy. Um, yeah. So I would like to just kind of like... Myself off the triceratops horn as quietly as slowly as yeah that's horrifying yeah you can do that it's I mean it's 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 unconscious by as quietly you mean without screaming yeah well actually would it be easier to st- would it be better for me to stay on not to go through okay don't worry this, 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 this thing you're not waking up possibly ever so. the only way out is okay. through all right um, okay in fact the professor is like well, over the uh, it seems like the danger has passed and he just drops a rope ladder yeah okay cool I stroll up eating an apple hey all buddy, right how's it going. Uh, okay, I was wrong about scaring the rabies out of it. But let me ask you this. Okay. What is foam? It's like bubbles and that. It's bubbles. Mm. Okay. And what is the solution for bubbles? Heat. To what? make the bubbles... I propose that rabies presents as foam because it's the rabies bubbling out. <sighs> because it's okay. hot. More heat. Because you, have a, you had a fever, you had a temperature. I was hot when it happened. Yes. This is good. Science is happening Science. now. Is Suzette writing this down? Dob, would you like us to set you on fire? Well, no, not she's me. Making, I'm, she's making notes. I don't have rabies. The Triceratops needs to be quite a lot hotter. I see. I think that will cure its rabies. Okay, I set the Triceratops on fire. Um, <laughs> I don't know how I would achieve that. We just need well, to do, make do we me just, a wisdom insight. Just yeah. make it hotter. Hot tri- Triceratops. Uh, it's 13, 15. You know what's funny is you 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 haven't haven't worked out what that little Little squeeze handle on your swords for yet? <laughs> I haven't. Maybe it cures rabies. I say, give it a little squeeze. It casts fireball at third level. Whoa! Damn. Onto a triceratops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <clears throat> let's see now. Fireball. When did you get a fire sword? I've had it for ages. Have you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Just never, just never bothered oh, squeezing oh. the thing. Yeah, I've been squeezing it, but nothing's been happening. Oh, okay. It was. We got you that special dagger. It's the yes. same day. I'm gonna say. Uh, you were sort of having this continued conversation more than 20 foot away from the um, the Triceratops <laughs> because frankly, uh, <laughs> I don't think Luke's gonna, gonna su- <laughs> sorry, Dob's gonna survive 8d6 fire damage on a failed save. Um, but, well, obviously the Triceratops is unconscious, so he's going to fail that, that check uh, and he's now thoroughly on fire. Um, let's see. It's fine, it's, it's got plenty of hit points. Um, but it's gonna take nine... Does this wake it up, or does it stay? We'll find out. Science seems weird and irrational. I'm going to stick to religion. <laughs> this seems like exactly your kind of science segment. <laughs> yeah. You see how fun yeah. science can be? Suzette, I say, I see why you got into this whole science med- med- <laughs> medicine thing. It feels so good to be doing some healing. I nearly prepared create water, and I didn't, because I thought... Well, I wouldn't need that. Like, it's not like someone's going to set a triceratops off. Ain't that just the thing where you go on a trip and you yeah. think, oh, I won't need oh, that. I won't need and that. then it's the one thing you need. And it's the one thing I need. Yeah. Well, the triceratops is not dead. Uh, neither is it conscious. It's just on fire. All right, Dob. I did that thing you said. Now what? Okay, well, I guess now we wait and see if its rabies goes away. Uh, how long do you think we should give it? I mean, is it still Did foaming it? at the mouth? Is it Check still foaming? I, I sort of would like to... It's get... bubbling, but I'm not sure if it's the foam. <laughs> Do you know your like healing magics and stuff? Do they do disease as well? Like he can cure healing hands or whatever one you've got is. Lay lay your wounds. I don't, lay think, it, hands I don't it. think it does disease. The thing is, I want. I kind of want to cast cure wounds on the triceratops. Okay. But I feel like it's not scientific to do that because we are currently running an experiment to see if heat cures rabies. <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're right. Well, we don't want it to die. That would be bad. With lay on hands, yes. I can cure one disease. Oh, okay. Oh. Or, or just lay on hands and cure rabies. <laughs> Try that. No, I don't want to. <laughs> I mean, this you've killed this Trizo. No, we no, have not right. killed. It's on fire! It's, it's on fire. It'll be fine. Cure yep. its wounds. Uh, I can't get near enough to put my hands on it. Cure its wounds before it dies of fire. Alright, I cast I cast cure wounds on the triceratops. Okay, cast cure wounds. Uh, okay. If you can put the fire out, I'll put my hands on it. Let's send this at fourth level, shall we? Uh 20. Yeah, it basically erases all of the damage it just took while you were talking and it was still on fire. <laughs> right. 
Is okay. it still on fire? Though? Yes! There's got to be a water trough or something nearby. Uh, yeah, it must have a water, 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 water trough nearby. Uh, yeah, it's got, a, it's got a water trough. Okay, I would like to control water okay. and take it out of the trough and put it on the Triceratops. All right. Okay. Cool. All right, I'll lay on hands. Yes. Here we go. All right. I really don't have to do much. I put my hands on it and I expend five. Do you lie on its belly? Yeah, yeah going up and down. <laughs> uh, and, you know it. <laughs> and I um I expend five hit points from my thirty-five hit point pool. Uh-huh. Oh. Um and uh, and it cures it of that disease. It was it was rabies, wasn't it? Yeah. Because it also has a cold. Can you cure it of coma? <laughs> I don't know if I can wake it up. Is rabies a disease? I mean... Preventable preventable viral disease. I'll give you that one, yeah. Um, yeah. Sick, that was easy. <laughs> Not got rabies now. <laughs> All right. Dob, it worked. Dob. Were you there when now I was... we just need to do that for every single <laughs> rabbit animal on this. What's all this wee stuff? You're the one with the <laughs> <laughs> magic hands. Yeah, some might say I didn't see this bit coming. <laughs> I could possibly say that's when the attack comes. I'm from the front, but from the side. <laughs> from the other two paladins, you didn't even know. It from, was a fair from assumption from reading that the rules. Mike wouldn't know about lay on hands curing diseases. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Well, oh, the paladin could do that. But will they? We've never <laughs> seen that. Look it up. <laughs> Clever girl. <laughs> <laughs> the, prob- the problem with this is it's not scalable. We can't have Egbert. I've only got two hands. Egbert's only got two hands. And he takes on. five hit points of damage every time. No, I don't take it. damage. It's from, a, it's from a pool of healing points I've got oh. at all times. Yeah. Oh, I'm learning so much about paladins. Mm. Okay. So while we have helped this one Triceratops, I don't think we're at any better a position. Than mm. Did you tell the, so Helped the is such a big word for what we've done to this Triceratops. Rabies. Apparently not. Yeah. yeah. So you're the cure. Yeah, well, our so. paladin friend here. That's Dissect him, I would. That isn't scalable. Oh, you're right. <laughs> well, we need more paladins then. Vivisect. I never thought I'd say that. <laughs> hey, but is oh. it possible that a, a paladin came by me while I was sort of in the in the throes of rabies when I was a young Did boy? Did anyone lay their hands on you? <laughs> I don't remember <laughs> that happening. No, I don't think so. You know, I'm starting to feel rather foolish. We could have so many more dinosaurs if I'd just known we could hire a paladin to slap the rabies straight out of it. A slap sounds very agricultural. Sorry. Well, okay. But that's just treating the symptom of the process, which of course is the symptom being rabies, of which the symptoms are foaming and dying and hating water and biting. We Wait. still need to work out the root cause, which is why are they resurrected with rabies? Wait, I have an idea. Go on. Do you have any more animals with rabies? Do I? <laughs> <laughs> Let's have one bite me. If I get rabies, sure, that's bad. Okay. If I don't get rabies, yes, you've, you've got antibodies. Uh, antibodies. I don't know what that is. You've got <laughs> <laughs> some form of immune. Sorry, it's a science word. You've got some sort of immunity. Yeah, English doc. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. We'll speak common doc. Well, <laughs> it, means, it means you have an ant-like body. <laughs> yeah, Bone termites have antibodies. <laughs> but enough about my thorax <laughs> and a big round butt. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking it before I said it. I, like, yeah. I, t- I tell you what. Well, maybe give me maybe give me overnight. Yes, maybe in the morning say, we do. What the if we do this in roughly eight hours or so? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come, I'm being rude. We've jumped straight into the experiments and you've not even got settled. So. Why don't we all go have some, some dinner and, and a drink and um, then you can uh, t- sleep it off and then tomorrow we'll have a dinosaur bite you. Hamadar, my friend, nothing could be sweeter, I say, and I would like to face plant unconscious and bleed. <laughs> sure thing. Does, yeah, this, yeah. Uh, does this resort have a Sir James Buffett's village of margaritas? Currently, it's just in the planning stage. I see, yes. So it, it doesn't exist as a place yet, but the good thing about it is it's not just a place. <laughs> it's a state of mind. <laughs> so if what you're really asking is, can I make you a margarita? Yes, I can. I'd love nothing more. Okay. Star wipe too. <laughs> 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 Professor Hammerdahl is there, having just uh, just ordered Denise to go take care of the ailing triceratops that's been set on fire and is mm. in a coma. <laughs> it's fine now. He sort of pours everyone a margarita, hands it out. Great. The, um, there's a slight... Um, Spiciness to the salt rim. Oh, it's very nice. Uh, I'd like to come downstairs in a bathrobe. Uh-huh. Uh huh. 
Yeah. How was your long rest? Extremely Alice. restorative. Only the spell slots. <laughs> <laughs> wide open. Has the hole in your chest sealed up? Uh, wide open. We call that. <laughs> <laughs> Help yourself to some of this nacho volcano. <laughs> yeah. And these breakfast margaritas. <laughs> I know that volcano senses movement rumbles and just <laughs> mol- molten cheese spills down the side. Lovely. Take four d six. Cheese cheese sandwich. Hot cheese. Hot cheese sticks to you. Blah. When we go do some challenge. Remind me again of the plan, Dob. You're going to get bitten by a rabid animal. Yeah. And then we're going. If to I get rabies, put me down and kill me. Or Egbert cures me. Or whatever. <laughs> yeah. One of those. <laughs> a lot. Yeah. Do do one of those one two, of those. whichever yeah. feels right at the moment. But if you yeah. don't get rabies. If I don't get rabies, perhaps there's some sort of scalable rabies. Not just cure, yeah. but preventative. All right, let's do it. Let's throw Dob to the wolves. Well, we can do it in a controlled environment. Let's throw <laughs> Dob. <laughs> oh, the wolves don't have rabies, my lad. Oh. No, we're going to an entirely different exhibit. Oh. Huh? Cool. All right. Okay. Um, it leads you outside where waiting uh, is a is a chariot. Uh, this chariot um, has horses in front of it and it is very garishly painted. It's kind of red and slashes of yellow and green. <laughs> and you think, that. why on earth would you paint something that colour? Mm-hmm. It's disgusting and yet so memorable mm. and eye-catching. <laughs> um, he goes, uh, this next one's a little bit of a drive. So uh, if you'd be so kind to get into the carriage. Of course. <laughs> You all, you all sort of get into the carriage, um, including him. There's no one there with you. Uh, but he goes, one moment. Leans out the window and whoosh, cracks a whip. Oh. And a carriage with no one holding the reins starts to move. Oh, says, oh don't worry. They're on rails. <laughs> and in, sure enough, the carriage wheels are in like these little grooves. And so like it just starts to, to sort of trundle away. Um, and he's just sort of sat there with you all. Along in the carriage. Did you all sleep well? Mm. Marvelous. Well, I had eight margaritas, so. <laughs> yes, they do pack a punch. <laughs> I'd like to look out the window and just to sort of see what we're passing. Nothing showing up, really. So you go past a paddock. I see anything. Um, you do have a endangered species on your endangered species tour. Knock <laughs> <laughs> on his head. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, please stop that. Um, Yes, well, we, no, we do, but obviously we want to give them as much room as possible. Ideally, we can release them um, with no further interference from us. If they're too dependent on on the milk of human kindness... Um, milk could be the cure. They'll never... <laughs> Suzette's, <laughs> Suzette's not agreeing. Milk is probably not... Good <laughs> um, thinking, though. If, that's no, good. If, you, if you were to milk a kind person. Yeah. But if, if they're too dependent on us, they'll never truly be wild and they'll never truly take their place in Geth's fragile ecosystem. Mm. An ecosystem that, may I remind you, has been decimated recently. Oh, such terrible deeds. If only we could catch that group that did it. And yet sometimes fire brings new life, doesn't it? (laughs) But the important thing is we don't know who that group is. Mm. So we can't catch them. Well, how do you even know it's a group? Here's what we don't know, (laughs) who the group was. Here's what we do know. Fire brings new life sometimes, doesn't it? Well, it nearly killed the Are we nearly there? <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh, yes, thank you. We are. Yeah. Um, and he like, throws a, uh, sort of, uh, for lack of better words, some sort of handbrake, um, mm. and the, the cart slow, slowly grinds to a halt. Um, he goes, if you'll, if you'll accompany me this way. There is uh, indeed like a, a, a very large sort of paddock. There's a very large fence um, uh, that hums gently. Um, as if charged with some sort of energy, <laughs> um, magic or otherwise. Because um, in here we have one of our, uh, our earlier experiments. It's, it's something a little more primitive, you might say. Um, well, I mean, it's prehistoric anyway, but um, uh, prudence, was it? Yes. I believed you wanted to see them in their rawer... Uh, Necromantic <laughs> form. Necromantic form. Yes, please. Ooh, if you'll excuse the pun about rawer. <laughs> um, and he goes... Uh, Hold on one moment. And he reaches into his shirt and pulls out like a wooden whistle that's mm. around his neck, uh, like uh, with a piece of string. And he kind of blows into it and the whistle just goes, <laughs> Me? <laughs> cool whistle. <laughs> and you just hear a, goes, ah, here it comes now. And then a little ripples sort of, in my margarita. <laughs> 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 um, Suzette's just kind of, Suzette's leaning against the carriage, just kind of watching you being like, wait till they get a load of this. 
And uh, sure enough, with a series of, of, of thudding footsteps, um, a large skeletal sort of carnivorous looking dinosaur kind of clacks its way out of the trees and it's like so cool and it just goes oh. <laughs> lacking any any vocal oh. cords of any kind oh. doesn't make any noise uh, but you do notice well, strangely there is coming sort of from where its gums would be raining down through the middle of its jawbone huh. is just an endless cascade of foam huh. oh wow uh, and it does seem to move sort of jerkily as if it's uh, got rabies or something Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> All right, Dob, step I've, up and yeah, get a bit. I place a, a chain around my neck and yes! uh, assume there's some sort of platform I can be. <laughs> He goes, ah, yes. Um, obviously, we don't want to deactivate this fence. So if you would just, um, if you would yeah, just, just through this door, this, this yeah, little there's tunnel. There's a trap yep. door here. All right, in a tunnel. Yep. You can climb back out on See the other side. See you in a sec. I'm imagining this since we first got in the car. <laughs> <laughs> this is what's gonna happen. Do you want any protective magics or armor or anything, Dob? Yeah, anything you got. <laughs> well, got All right, I'm, I'm there now. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Okay, well, I, I ready the spell minor illusion to make Dob look less upsetting when he comes back. <laughs> <laughs> Inspiration. Ooh, yeah, it's a bit you, all right. Um, you basically you pop up and immediately it just goes uh, and gives you a really good chump, which uh, will be from inside his mouth. Can I be like? <laughs> Legs just wiggling <laughs> with the jawbone. <laughs> Uh, that's 20 points of piercing damage. Oh, God. I mean, it doesn't make any noise, but... There's, kind of... there's a human cost to scientific um, <laughs> stuff. Orcish. Yeah. <laughs> Dob's saying something. Um, I, I, cross, yeah, I, I cast comprehend languages to understand what he's saying. <laughs> yeah. He's... Horizon, on, old boy. <laughs> I think dog? we've got the data we need. <laughs> okay. uh, I say, uh, get this thing uh, down now and uh, retrieve me back to the other side of the fence. Now, when you say get it down, what exactly do you mean by that and how do you expect that to be? Well, I mean, I'm chained to some sort of post <laughs> that was raised out of the ground, so simply retract it and the chain around my neck will yank me out of it. <laughs> Not a, his mouth. not a problem, old boy, I'd say. I, I turn the mechanism in reverse. Okay. I would also like to cast Eldritch Blast over the shoulder of the skeletal dinosaur. Okay. As a distraction. Uh, make yeah, me a, a just make me a roll to make sure that you miss. Eldritch Blast. Oh, yeah. Just don't roll a one. Oh, yeah. Don't don't hit it. 11. Great. That's, That's two ones. ones. <laughs> Double ones. Okay. I go fetch and then cast an Eldritch Blast over its shoulder. Three things happen at once. Um, Number one, an Eldritch Blast uh, lances over this thing's shoulder, so it turns. <laughs> number two, the winch starts pulling in the chair. <laughs> and number three, the... Oh. Dog separates it away. <laughs> <laughs> number three, the, uh, the, the skeleton Tyrannosaurus throws back its head and swallows Dob. Oh, God. <laughs> and of but, course, lacking an esophagus yes. or any stomach or anything, Dog, Dob just hits the ground. Oh. Now, ah. There is a chain looped around the through the oh, jaw yeah. oh. of the skeletal tyrannosaur. All right, okay. So, <laughs> uh, currently it's there and it's kind of just like, ah! Like it would be roaring as if to say I'm, I'm you know. Uh, yeah. Is this chain around your neck? I'm a terrible thunder king. Yeah, that's what we said. Can okay. I cast, can are, you, I... Are, you, are, you, you're, are you dangling by your neck? I know, I'm, on, I'm sat on the floor, right? So I'm, I'm just saying, yeah, you've hit the deck. Okay, yeah. so uh, sat on to the floor. Wit. Chain goes through uh, the gullet six. of the Dinosaur. So it's like around the dinosaur's just, Yeah, it's going to pull the lower yeah. jaw off if it comes Could you take up. six yeah. points of uh, bludgeoning damage, please? I, mean, I don't see why. <laughs> you got swallowed by Tyrannosaurus and there wasn't anything to catch you. Uh, can I cast heat metal on the collar around my neck? Sure, that seems like a... <laughs> oh wait, no, I forgot what the spell <laughs> just is. Just on the chain. Just cast it on the chain. I cast it, yeah, on the Not chain. on the thing that's on, all around I'm your precious, your neck. delicate neck. <laughs> yeah. Your precious swan-like neck. Yeah. <laughs> all right, I guess, is that a... Was that shouted at volume or? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the chain. Yeah. Big dummy. Swords will be like. Here we go. <laughs> uh, He's okay. about to burn his head off. And I go like. Yes. Very good. Okay. Try and melt through the. Uh, all right. Um, I've got this theory that a butterfly flaps its wings across Geth and Dob does weird stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So. Okay. Cool. Okay. Uh, so. It's going to take a while for this thing to melt. Okay. In I'll hobble back to the fence and just find a good looking hole and just 
squeeze my way through. It's still, still attached. To You're still, still attached to them. They still being <laughs> so there is still a winch pulling you in. Job and there done. is a T-Rex right. that's being like turned. I thought you heat metal. I thought I chain. heat metal the chain. Yeah, right. right. said it's going to take a while to get through this. Right. Yes. Sure. I you just meant that's the whole deal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. All right. So I'm like, dick, 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 dick. yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. And this thing is sort of getting pulled further to the ground, and oh, it's starting wait. to thrash kind of wildly. Okay. So I also you... thrash wildly. So, so they can't touch the ground. Yeah. Maybe like two sine waves. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a dexterity saving throw. Ten plus fourteen. Okay. Um, your hand slips off the chain. Uh, oh no! For a fifteen, so oh. your hand slips off, and you're like, Ugh! okay. So heat metal is actually. Do you even need to? No, you don't need to maintain physical contact with it, do you? Uh, I think I need to be. I think I need to be touching it to cast. Uh, mm. Range is sixty foot. So actually, you, you're good. All right, cool. You just uh, all right then. Uh, you just feel really. Oh, sick. I don't even need to be touching it. Nope. Wow, boy, have I been I wasting so. some opportunities to melt stuff. <laughs> oh, no, there's a thing. That's a consequence for whiffing the um, the, the saving throw. Um, you get like. Lashed into the um, into one of the the, the posts holding up the uh, fence. Okay. Pow. Okay. Um, Sounds fine. Normal fence. Uh-huh. <clears throat> I would like to uh, shoot an arrow at could it matter at the beast's head. All right. I don't know whether this will make it worse. But let's Some try. animal lover you are, Merylwen. Okay. Uh, AC is thirty. Okay. So that's a 15 altogether. That's a hit. What are you trying to do exactly? Um, just to try and like stop it from like pulling Tom off the floor with a collar around his that's head. That's fair. Uh, right, 2d8. So that's a 5 and a 7. So that's 12. Okay, 12. Is damage. the carnivore like on the ground at this point or is it just being it's pulled kind of, down? No, it's kind of like stooping right. down as if it's having to pass under something low. Uh, Meanwhile, I'm making a preliminary sketch for submission to Geth's funniest home. This <laughs> 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 is me, Geth's funniest home copper plates. Yeah, I get 250 gold coins. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I'm going to... Uh, okay. Um, the... I'm, I'm afraid you've not made it loads better. No. <laughs> the, the T-Rex kind of tries to pull its head away because it gets hit. It's like... Argh! Um, oh, no. What happens is it kind of swings Dob under and then back over. Um, Dob! As Dob. luck would have it, Dob, you smash into the very same fence post, which starts to groan and kind of. <laughs> <sighs> and then with sort of the snapping of magic cables, kind of. <laughs> oh, no. I know I can't be unconscious for mechanical reasons, but I just want to be like rag, <laughs> rag Dob. Oh, rag, you're certainly yeah. dazed, yeah. Okay. Okay. Dob? Dob? Dob, Dob can you hear me? Sli- turn your Dob? face slightly this way. I need to capture that expression. <laughs> Dob, if you can hear me, <laughs> give me a sign. <laughs> oh my god, this is great. <laughs> hey. Okay, great. <laughs> it's his good thumb. The manacle around your neck that was designed for, you know, goats and for feeding these creatures, I imagine. It's got some sort of mechanism on it, hasn't it? It's not. It's not like for a dungeon. Yeah. Someone with someone with actual. <laughs> yeah. Thumbs it's and fingers. You should be able to undo it. I mean, a goat to, like, can't undo it. Goats. It's, just, it's just a buckle. <laughs> Inspiration, prudent, forever. Yeah. Just forever. Okay. Um. I suppose I try and summon the strength to sort of like. Pour at my throat and see if I can feel any. Cut. There should be a catch. A there is, match. A button there, is a, a... there is a simple catch. <laughs> yes. I release it. <laughs> the collar just pops off, and you're free, and you're on the ground. And I peel off the thing. And <laughs> off the thing. Yeah. Uh, the fence is in a is now in a state of disrepair. I'd go so far as to say it is broken. So which side have I landed on? I guess it doesn't uh, matter. It's all broke, busted up. Yeah, you're kind of on the boundary, or where the boundary would have been if there was one anymore. Mm-hmm. All right. I um I I can't speak, but I message. That was a good shout, Prudence. Thank you. Mm. I do cast my illusion to make Dobbs corpse. I mean body look <laughs> less distressing. That's good. Yes, yeah, so I think everyone. <laughs> do I sit like? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like, like I've just finished a break dance. <laughs> 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 
fantastic. You look fantastic. <laughs> the, the illusion occasionally flickers. <laughs> yeah. Crunched up bony. Blood starts to spread from out right from way. under the illusion. <laughs> 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 so, Dom, do you have rabies? Oh, um... We won't have to wait and see, yeah. will we? Oh, we have to do some tests. I seem okay. Do some I scraping. Feel, I feel some... great. I feel better. <laughs> um, yeah, currently, apart from, you know, having just been battered against a... Having been used to batter down a massive um, electric fence, mm. you you feel the same as, as ever, really. I feel like all of the things that happened to me have happened to me mm. and I feel according to that but I don't feel anything like no extra. worse than that yeah. okay um this fence situation yes though. Mm. I take the uh the loose manacle from formerly around Dob's neck mm -hmm. and fasten it to a strong piece of fence because now the dinosaur will be kind of like loops. chained <laughs> on yeah. a large loop just to keep it in place while we fix the fence Okay. Yeah. The, so the the chain is still like, the chick, the chick, the chick, the chick, the chick. But it's like, kind of threaded down. through it. Yeah. So the T Rex is now like. Well, we just... can stop the elevator from descending any further. Because it's got like its chin on the floor. That poor thing. Mm -hmm. We yeah. just want to hold it in place while we fix this fence. It's right. just like, but in the air, just yeah. like, okay. pinioned, kind of, just oh. all right. cycling itself. Oh, we've got a mend fence. You've got a mend spell. You yeah. Can cast mending. Okay. Sure. Uh, wow. I mean, that's a big prestidigitate. But um, I'll give it a try, yeah. Mending on the fence. All right. I mean, so mending, it does just fix two. I mean, it's not like you're trying to put some orphans back. Do you want to... <laughs> um, require, uh, repairs a single break or tear in an object you touch, such as a broken chain link, two halves of a broken key, a torn cloak, or a leaking wineskin, as long as the break is no lar larger than one foot. However, it's a cantrip, so I just do it to every small gap. <laughs> Dob is kind of like a leaking wineskin right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sure, yeah. Um, yeah, it take, it, it's going to take you a while, but you are able to sort of get, you know, oh, that's a, it's a piece of fence post, put that there. You kind of just sort of build it back together. You're spot again. welding it, basically. Together. Yeah, basically. Yeah. It looks awful. It looks like you've had some real cowboys in here. But Thank you me. reckon it'll hold? Yeah, um, I reckon it'll hold. What, what about you? How about you hold? <laughs> And now, do we well, have any presume, rabies tests? Yeah, or presumably that took a while. Um, well, does anyone see any frothing? No frothing. How do you feel about water right now? Uh, Good. I I. No drink, hydrophobia. Drink a, big, drink a big glass. Yeah, of I drink it. I, I. Do you feel I, like, like biting any of us? No more than usual. Okay. <laughs> Some more than others. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll never tell. <laughs> I declare this patient free of no rabies. rabies. Well, that's wonderful. There's clearly something about you that that, that we can. So we can we're use agreed. We need the... to take his blood. Well, why don't we scoop up some of this blood that's already on the ground? <laughs> yeah. Like, sure. I control water to pick up the blood. The water in into my blood. The... You leave Do you have a spell that's control blood? <laughs> <laughs> no, but that would be like, like, it, 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 part of blood is water. But yeah, the cells are so like so there's, there's like water in. But control the blood. Control blood would be cool. Though. Yeah. Be cool spell. Well, in ye old east tale of Avatar, the last airbender, this is a thing that can be done. It's not, not... And ye old tale of yeah. Blade, starring Stephen Dorff. Yeah. Marvelous hair. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's I not would... list cooler IPs. But... <laughs> <laughs> Blood controlling I'm can sorry, be I do not... I oh, know, wait, hang on a minute. I was thinking of the other Avatar. <laughs> the other yeah, no. The other Avatar. Yeah. In the list of IPs, it goes... <laughs> <laughs> Blade. Last Airbender. Blade. Oxventure. Oxventure. I don't know. Oxventure. <laughs> then the Avatar, other Avatar. The world of Pandora. Yeah. There's a pretty big gap in the middle of it somewhere. All right, Marilyn. one. So yeah, I'd like to get scoop up with control water some of. Uh... But do you only get the water, or do you get all of the blood? Does the rest of the blood come with it, or is it just like a sort of gloopy? I'd like to just put some in a jar. <laughs> <laughs> just scoop it up. And unlike last time, like, I consent to this experiment. The from the cells, I think it would just. I'm gonna say. I'm sorry, the handkerchief and stuff. This will be canon. Okay. You can use control water on blood that hasn't come from another ox venturer, because the blood of the covenant is thicker than the water. Of the oh. 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 And too... also, no controlling blood that's in someone's body, because yeah. that's something I want to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Prune it has to be out of the body. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay. he's boiling. So I can't, can't yeah. puppeteer yeah. people. You can't pick up dubs. No. Oh. Because he means too much to me. Yeah, too, too much of a too much of a pal. I'm soaking like it all up with a handkerchief. I'm just wringing it out over a... Yeah, a yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Meryl's just having this, like, emotional epiphany. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you two are like, Because <laughs> um, there's a lot of it around. I've like got some, loose, some Tupperware full of loose blood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'm happy that this hasn't led to a dissection or vivisection so far. Uh, what's Suzette doing? I just want to shoot her a look. And... She's still leaning against the cart, but it's like... <laughs> not go how I thought it would. Can I fall to my face in exactly the same way as I did this time yesterday? <laughs> yeah. Okay. See you in the morning. <laughs> Day three. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> yeah, there's another there's another enforced break <laughs> in your side of Okay, experiment. I've been to the gift shop. I'm wearing a baseball cap and holding a lunchbox. Hawaiian oh, shirt. It's all brand. Wait, this isn't a holiday resort. This is a nature reserve. Hmm. But there could it's be a gift shop. Nature reserves have gift shops. Okay, fine. I'm wearing a branded baseball cap. I've got a plush skeleton dinosaur. <laughs> I'm going around picking things up with a little grabby thing in the head, shape of a. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah. uh, Dob, how was your long rest? Ah, uh, bed down in the bathroom again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very restorative. Thank you. Uh, yeah, what are we eating? Nacho Great. volcano. Yeah, another nacho. Yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. Has Suzette been down yet? Uh, she, uh, she she's on her third nacho volcano. Yeah. Oh, right. Hey. Throw the jalapeno coppers. Did you get any food. results from the from hmm? the from the from the, from the loose blood? Oh. From the loose blood I gave you. Oh no. Um, ah, no, that's still in the fridge. Um, ah. Sorry, we. Oh god, I've been dunking my jalapeno poppers. <laughs> <in there. laughs> yes, you have. Um, <laughs> No, it's got we, a spicy uh, kick. We were gonna do it, and then uh, I was I came to check on you, make sure you were you were still in bed, and then uh, when I came back down, old professor. <laughs> so we just got blitzed on margaritas again. Right. But I kind of figured you might not want to miss this. I mean, it's you know your blood, your Thanks, your rabies. That was so thoughtful. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, I propose we centrifuge dog's dog. blood. <laughs> What's the same? And dub. <laughs> you scrap all the top yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel let's just do some scientific stuff to it for a while and see what happens. Well, I, well the only Centrifuge science. Centrifuge out the bits of wood. The only science I know is sea, sea science. Okay. What do you propose? Well, we could throw it in the sea. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. You could put it on top of the mast and it'll get like, engulfed in St. Elmo's fire. <laughs> That's pretty scientific. Why don't we at- apply Dob's blood to a rabid animal and see if that is enough? Yeah, let's just dunk it in its mouth and see if it cures it. And if that's enough, then we just need a way to what's all of dilute blood? Dob's uh, blood and <coughs> reproduce it. Yeah, uh, Professor, what's your what's your smallest, least deadly rabid animal you have? <laughs> yeah, uh, also, that what's could have been useful yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm, I'm hoping you'll say <laughs> your smallest rabid animal yeah. is, is the T-Rex. <laughs> <laughs> we have this baby goat. <laughs> <laughs> Slow down, everyone. We're running out of rabid animals. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We've still got loads. Uh, come with me. Take Hooray. a pick. Um, let's see. What are some other rabid animals that we have? There's a rabid uh, dodo. They've brought the dodo back. That's got rabies. Sounds all right. There's a rabid thylacine. Uh, Tasmanian, Tasmanian tiger. Okay, they probably don't want to get bit yeah. by one of those because their jaws were. Let's not do that one because they, they. Well, seem we don't need to get bitten them. by any of them. We just need to dunk some blood in it. Yeah. They seem aggressive anyway, so it might be. Okay. We want like a (laughs) passive animal. So that the so that if the rabies cure works, the change will be very obvious. Okay, well let's say let's get the dodo. Alright. I take like a dodo treat, dunk it in some of the Dobbs dunkables. (laughs) Dodo treat. They should she shouldn't have put it in the fridge next to the salsa. It was asking for trouble. Dunk it in the blood and then I'm just gonna toss it to the dodo. Okay. So it eats it and see what happens. Alright, sure. Um just for the sake of argument, I'm going to say Dodo treats our jalapeno poppers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Covered in dog's dunkables. In fact, when you sort of you go to the, uh, the the place where the Dodo is being held, it's being held behind a pane of glass, uh, and it's got its like the nostrils of its beak pressed up against the corner, Aww. where some air has been coming through. It's like <laughs> like just huffing jalapeno popper smell, and the foam is yeah, just... creepy. Is there? Top to the glass, or can yeah, I get yeah, a treat like in there? Yeah, a food hatch. A food hatch. Yeah, just put some in the food hatch. <laughs> uh, it it eats the um, eats the jalapeno popper. No observe it, everyone scientifically. <laughs> 
Seems to have become more rabid. Just get, get, yes, <laughs> it's, become, it's become more rabid. Okay. Um, it yeah. starts. It starts running in circles, and eventually it just starts like running up the wall. So it's kind of doing the wall of death. Thing. <laughs> wow. But it's me, it just like pluck, 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 oh. pluck, 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 pluck. Wow. Um, I don't know, Suzette. This doesn't feel like a win to me. Mm. Well, no, but it already, it already had rabies, and then just consuming your blood's not going to do. Oh. Like, maybe it need... needs to be added earlier. Corazon doesn't have rabies, and he's been drinking my blood. Drink Corazon, in. get bitten by this dodo. No, <laughs> get bitten by a dodo. I think you'll be fine. No, I'm not. Suzette no. thinks you'll be fine. I'm not getting bitten by a dodo. But... I didn't say that he'd be fine, but it would be kind of cool to see. But no, no, no. What we need to do is introduce uh, the blood earlier on in the, to the resurrection marrow. process. Yeah, the marrow thing. The necromancy the yeah. activation. Yes, there okay. we go. That's a great idea. Yeah. Okay. And we'll now just... no one has to get bitten by any animals, Stop, unless you want to go three for three here. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. No, we'll, we'll, um, we'll, we'll run some blood on the, uh, around the inside of some of the bones, and then when the marrow regrows, it'll, it'll take in the anti-rabies properties. It'll take in the properties. anti-rabies properties, and... And then, hey presto, yeah. there's a... That's, that's just science. Yeah. That's ideal. That's just science. All, All right. right. Um, uh, Professor Bones. We must have some bones around here somewhere. <laughs> Professor, know, bones. Professor Bones. <laughs> <laughs> Professor, in, in class, Bones. Professor Bones. A resurrection, you wish. Professor Hammerdale's face goes very grave. Do not speak that name. <laughs> you hate Professor Bones. You know the always oh, trying to steal my research. <laughs> you know the skeleton in the lab coat they have in the window of Keels. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's right. He works for Keels. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, sure. All right. Uh, we go to the necromancy lab now. Of course, she's been wanting yes. to go the whole time we've been here. <laughs> so there's a special treat. Um, he go. Yeah. He, he he leads you to the necromancy lab. So, here we go. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. Um, What's it look? Like? I'm a little hesitant going in there. All right, see you later, Merwin. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Merwin. I... Simon. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. So that's all right. He, yeah, you can you can stay out if you'd like to. I'm kind of like. He was Simon, your ex-boyfriend. The cat that was my my old wild cat it's buddy. Cat boyfriend. The hat in the cat. The cat, the cat in the was necromancy. The necromancy. And then the necromancer the turned into hunter a hat. Reactivated we agreed not to cat. call Simon the cat and the hat around her. <laughs> no, it was the hat in the cat. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that the one. Yeah. The... yeah, you know, he cursed Dub, so when Dub dies, Dub's going to just stand up, walk over to a frozen peak, and then fall over again. Yes. <laughs> I'd remember that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Merylwen, um, I, 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 I totally get it. Um, uh, we will also, mm-hmm. if. Um, something goes wrong, mm. and I can't imagine what would in rabies blood necromancy. <laughs> but if something does go wrong, you can tell our story. Yeah, it'd be good to have someone on the outside in case things go wrong. So, Merowyn. Oh, yeah, there's like a spectator's box. Yeah, I go in the, yeah, like, yeah. like in a pathologist or... lab where, the, yeah. where yes. you know, in the... You can observe and take notes, yeah. scientific notes. Total party point. <laughs> <laughs> For Merowyn. <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah. What's it look like in here? Oh, it's it's a necromancer's <laughs> dream in there. It looks like Steven. a spooky crypt crossed yeah. with a cool cocktail bar crossed with just catacombs. Oh yeah. Um, trying to come up with a fun extinct animal that would be it would be fun to to bring back. Do they still have qu- quaggers? Quack. Quackers. Quackers. They're, they're not extinct. We've got they're too not. many quaggers. Okay. Actually, yeah. No, just name me an animal. Just Brachiosaurus. A, giraffe. Uh, Giraffe, time. great giraffes, extinct in Geth. It's like a much worse. You've got a long well. giraffe neck bone. <laughs> um, the professor goes, and would somebody be so kind as to summon the necromancer? There's a, a bell pull just there. Could you could you possibly just I go and yank the, the rope for the summoning <laughs> necromancer's bell? Oh, okay, okay. Professor Bones. It, <laughs> it <laughs> bong. Um sorry, give me one second. Spoilers and ghouls, it's I, Professor Bones. Yes, yeah, so. Boom, like a, a bell kind of rings out. Um, some bats, non-extinct, non, non-necromancy, non rabid ones, kind of like fly out mm. um, as is appropriate. Um, and then you, from the other, from like down a long corridor, you hear sort of like a jangling of bones, kind of like clink, 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 clink. Then you also hear like a series of like <laughs> noises. Um, and like a hunched figure comes into the room and goes, ah, hello. Is it Bismuth? It is not Bismuth, okay. no. 
Uh, do you say that out loud? No. But, well, no, I would, I'm looking at them so I can tell if it's Bismuth. No, it's not. It's, it's kind of like a, it, like, I mean, <coughs> there's a resemblance there, probably. They're kind of like... Oh, cool. Um, oh, hello. Are you the necromancer? <laughs> yes, I am. I am Astatine, the necromancer. Astatine. Astatine. Oh, Astatine. Pleasure to meet you. Um, we're doing, we uh, want some necromancy done. We heard you're the, you're the person for the job. Yes. Cool. What it will cost you, Professor. Uh, uh, Fresco's fine, um, and he reaches behind him and pulls out a, a, a brown paper bag and puts it on the table. Um, from inside comes a, a bubbling noise and the distinct smell of molten cheese. <laughs> <laughs> ah, great! For some reason, I'm not allowed in the cafeteria. <laughs> Apparently, I unnerve the other staff members. <laughs> oh. Can I shoot Suzette a look just to get her read on this, dude? Okay. All right. Now, which I assume we will require my services. Dunk, mm. dunk. <laughs> well, we're trying to cure the whole rabies thing, so we've got some of this rabies-resistant blood. Ah. We want to kind of introduce that into the bones as the marrow process slow is down, happening. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Obviously, yes. Ah, the rabies thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. Real buzzkill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> dunk. Mm. Try it in this, actually. Try in this. No, we need no? that. Oh, right. Don't contaminate dunk. the sample. <laughs> oh. <laughs> If we get a load it's of nacho right? cheese oh, flavoured animals... Yeah. Where did that come you? from? Oh, it's an old family recipe. <laughs> <laughs> our friend our friend, literally made it. So <laughs> that, you never told me your brother was so tasty. <laughs> Is there another romance going on in this park? No, he just wants to eat it. Okay. Well... Um, perhaps we could keep our eyes on the prize here. Okay, yes, of course, sure. Uh, so, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, we'd like to do some necromancy, please. Of course. Hence the ringing of the bell. Of course. Yeah. Um, uh, Hamadal. I know what my job is. <laughs> Hamadal. Get some of these bloods in some yeah. of them bones. Hamadal, do you have, like, a, a species that you're trying to bring back or something? Is there, like... Well, um, I don't know. I suppose we've, uh, we've got a few different bones lying around here. Um... How about a giraffe? Says Astatine. Um, sure, a giraffe, why not? Why not? Right? Go big or go home, as they say. Bigger than a giraffe, probably what? just a brachiosaurus. <laughs> what, what's a giraffe? Wait, what's in this drawer, Mark? Brachiosaurus bones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's, the, that's the dead brachiosaurus, but we, we figured is bringing something that big back when it's rabid, probably not a great idea. Counterpoint. Anyone else have an end to that <laughs> sentence? No. Suzette just kind of leans in and goes, he wants a bracket. That's a brachius right now. And, uh, could you just cut him a deal? All right, Dub, since your blood appears to be the key to all of this, if this mm -hmm. works with the giraffe and we can reliably produce non-rabid animals, mm -hmm. fully formed, mm -hmm. back from extinction, mm -hmm. I'll make you a brachiosaur. How's mm -hmm. that sound? Uh, it sounds like something you would have done anyway. Well, do you want to see one or not? Yeah, I want to see one right now. Well, you can't, because we need to do this first. All right, all right, all right. it's just my blood, fine. <laughs> Go nuts. I can turn off the tap anytime. So just... <laughs> <laughs> all right. This no, is, it's fine. This is Giraffe awful. it will be. Dunk! <laughs> now, this blood you're talking about, mm. um, it's rabbit resistant? Yes. That's the hope. Yeah. Okay. This is an experiment. It's no. science. Yeah, Where in science. the process? Oh, I suppose. Ah, very clever. Mingle with the marrow? Mm, exactly. Yeah. Mingle with and the marrow. At the earliest the... stage possible, like right when the incantations are beginning, I guess. Yeah. Sure, sure. Hopefully what do you think, the... By the way, have you met Prudence? She's a pretty, pretty great necromancer. Not a necromancer, but oh. I'm a big fan. Oh, tremendous. Dabbled, obviously. We've all dabbled. Oh, read all the trade <laughs> magazines. Yes. An enthusiast. Necro Monthly. Mm. Oh. So I concur with the, the scientific consensus at the table, which is, yeah, let's um, crack open those bones, mix some blood with the marrow, and then necromance the hell out of them. All right. Great. Well, the hell into them. I don't know how it works. <laughs> Good. You should meet my sister. She'd like you. <laughs> um, all right. Well, uh, you seem keen. Uh, Just so, please. Well, yeah. It's... Can I have a, pass me a giraffe bone, please? Nurse. Sure. I figure the easiest way to do this, yes. let's let's get some in each vertebrae, mm. each of the vertebrae, rather, and yes. there's some in the skull. Why not? Okay. All right, great. All right. She, uh, he hands you uh, a, like a plenty just, of blood he to starts go handing you lots and lots of vertebrae. Okay. He's like, now the trick to it is, he grabs hold of one and then just 
like breaks it on his knee. Oh, like two halves of a melon. Oh yeah, like a um, crunchy baguette. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, 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 like a freshly baked baguette. Uh, and then, um, hold on, I need to get some scientific implements. He reaches down and just pulls out two butter knives. Mm. <laughs> All right, let's do this thing. So slap, begins slap, 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 a slap. disturbing <laughs> montage where uh, Prudence and Astatine are... Um, fossilized bones. Breaking Plus. open fossilized bones, uh, sh- just schlapping some of um, Dub's, Dub's blood on there, um, eating, for eating volcanic the nachos <laughs> without washing their hands. Um, <laughs> Suzette's kind of, even Suzette's feeling like a bit grossed out. The professor's just like <laughs> just happily idling away. Um, and then eventually she's like, oh, uh, there's like a, t- a tender moment at the end where like Astatine's holding the skull tilted and Prudence is tipping like blood out of the, yeah, out the, of the thing bit. straight into its nostrils and it coats the inside of its brain and then like, it around. high five, slosh yeah. it around. And they're like, ta-da! Science. And there's a whole, just a whole mountain of blood bones. Yeah. Yeah, great. Hi, Marwin. We did it. Do we clap? Is it? <laughs> oh, you're too kind. You're too kind. Well, I suppose it's time to start the incantation. Oh, thank God, that's not the end. Okay, great. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you'd finished. I thought no, that was no, it. no, 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 no. Yeah. Um, basically, then uh, Astin just sort of starts doing a necromancy, mm. by which I mean uh, starts sort of levitating off the floor. And then there's a, a series of horrible cracking noises as, um, as like his his entire spine gets rearranged. He starts sort of murmuring under under his un, under his breath. It's like um, he transforms into what seems to be a skeletal hand <gasps> that kind of then like like hovers over these bones. It's like and the bones start picking themselves up and <gasps> rearranging themselves. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's kind of like, it's, it's like a horrific 3D printer. He's just like <laughs> <laughs> and then there is um, a skeletal giraffe, um, which then kind of, it's weird, blood starts pooling from its, its little skeletal feet. Uh, and the blood sort of, as it uh, expands and suddenly <laughs> starts to whip up and sort of congeals itself onto the bones. And then uses that as like another point to climb up, and slowly just gore starts wrapping itself around the skeleton until it's kind of just like shining with blood. Uh, and then from that, kind of like with a like pulsing magic, uh, it starts to expand and muscles start to grow in front of your eyes. Uh, at some point, you see the nervous system go in. That's pretty gnarly. Uh, it's not great when obviously the organs start forming. Um, and the eyes, and you sort of see the brain and everything. And then obviously the last thing to go on, mercifully, is the skin. Um, and then sort of in front of you is is just this bloodied giraffe, which kind of goes, <laughs> shakes itself like a horse, and blood just whips everywhere. And then Yay. there is like a pristine, a pristine giraffe in front of you. And We're covered in blood. You're covered in blood. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone holds their breath and stares at it as it kind of like opens its eyes rolls them around kind of experimentally and goes I think we did it no rabies and isn't foaming at the mouth yes Yay! the professor there goes hi I can't believe it um, yeah science above covered in blood and still in the form of a, of a levitating skeletal mm. flesh man hand um Astatine kind of goes <laughs> and gives you a big thumbs up and then yes. sort of just drifts eerily back down the corridor and then drifts back and picks up the bag <laughs> and <then laughs> back along with the uh, with the, the natural volcano. Well, um, yes. Suzette gives you like a big hug. It's like hanging off your neck. It's like, oh, you did it! Oh, thanks, yeah. Suzette. I feel like I didn't really do anything. Oh, I knew you still had rabies. Uh, oh. You, I mean, you probably still have rabies, right? You just learned to live with it. Oh, you reckon? Maybe. I don't know. The point is, we found a way to make your animals without rabies in them. And as the sole owners of the rabies curing blood, and I am the, the chief blood agent for my <laughs> client's dog here, let's talk percentages. Yeah, what percentage of my blood do you want? Uh, <laughs> 1995. Oh, wow, that's very generous. <laughs> Are you sure you can give me that much without dying? 
As far as I know, there's only one way to find out. <laughs> 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 now, it seems to me you're going to need a lot of this guy's blood. Yes, probably. And that's going to cost you. Well, that's what I'm saying. it might. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it might. <laughs> so. Or, um, I don't know. I'd, well, wouldn't this giraffe have the exact same properties? I killed the giraffe. <laughs> I don't know, Dob is like the, uh, the original vampire. source. Yeah, the font of all cures. Uh, I'm not can... saying, look, I said you'd be compensated handsomely for your efforts, and you will. I'm just saying extortion is maybe not the way to go. <laughs> so, just oh, like man. <laughs> <laughs> Dob, you could probably donate a pint here and there. Right? Well, I mean, yeah, well, it, it seems like I might not even need yeah, to now. I mean, if these giraffes. Yeah, right, this well, giraffe. Well, for all we know, this is scalable. Unlike oh. this, this nonsense. Yeah. Whoa. Nonsense. Sorry. Honestly, I finally oh. wheel out, lay on hands, and everyone's having a go. <laughs> I've never met you before. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not having you go. I'm just saying that this is this is infinitely better for our our purposes. That's all. So you want to bleed this giraffe then? I say. I don't want to bleed the giraffe. I mean, there's a lot of blood in the giraffe. Easy to find the jugular as well. Imagine. <laughs> Basically just one long jugular. Imagine. <laughs> just imagine how much we'd have if we made a brachiosaur. Wow, what a good idea. <laughs> to the cafeteria, we need more natural volcanoes. Um, it starts leading you um, out of the room. He is in, in a state of high excitement. Okay, well, I think, feel like, I guess we did a good thing. Yeah, and handsomely rewarded. <laughs> yeah. Said. So yeah. that was the exact words. Um, I, I, I'd like to give some little snacks to the giraffe. And just be like, I'd, you know, I've got in. I kind of feel okay, okay. now, yeah, yeah, but sure. it's not like walking around in a trance to go be turned into a hat or anything. Mm -hmm. so like, hey, just snacks, snacks, snacks. Oh. Kind of uh, leans down and starts. What are you offering it? Um, you bear in mind, Marilyn does not know what a giraffe. This is the first time anyone's seen a giraffe. In. Oh yeah, I'm gonna try a few different things. I'm gonna things. say million years. Just, she, oh, she's million just, years extinct. Oh. She's just got some like general like grassy stuff that she you know keeps in like. Marilyn's famous trail mix. Yeah. <laughs> Are there any, oh, like... it's all grass. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. Sure. Um... <laughs> you gonna roll to see if that's poisonous to giraffes? <laughs> no, it's no. Uh, the giraffe's got to be immediately contracting all of our modern diseases. The giraffe kind of gives it a sniff and then starts licking licking the, the, the stuff up from the palm of your hand. Uh, its tongue, weirdly, is blue. Yeah. Maybe a wisdom saving throw. Because <laughs> stepping, out of, stepping out of the fantasy realm of Dungeons and Dragons for a minute, I find it creepy. Yeah, mm. wisdom. Yeah. Wisdom uh, saving throw. Can I get this with a practice? Yeah, uh, 10. <laughs> no, you sketch. It's like, senseless. Oh. <laughs> uh, the tongue of the giraffe. It's hor yeah, it's horrible. It's horrible. You've been licked by a devil tongue. <laughs> it's blue and weirdly, weirdly prehensile. Yeah. Horrible, so it is. Roll initiative. Meryl. <laughs> 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 it's I'm a sorry. kindness. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> So okay, uh, you're. A, I'm just like, ah! I just run. Perfect. Yeah, great. Uh, back, so like back in the cafeteria, can it's I? It's got um, a blue tongue. It's what? <laughs> it's got a blue tongue. What? I fire off all my spells. <laughs> <laughs> Not, again. <laughs> Not that again. Not that again. Not that again. Um, <laughs> can, uh, can, uh, yeah, Suzette's Suzette's with us, right? I just yep. want to, uh, yeah, in in line at the nacho line steak <laughs> cafeteria <laughs> thing, right? Just yeah, like, yeah. So how are you feeling about this? This this is good, right? This is... No, it's pretty great. She's or, she's already ladling hers up, but uh, she hands you a tectonic plate so you can start making yours. Um, it's it's incredible. I mean, you know, I've been working on this for so long, and I'll be honest, we needed we needed help, and we needed people, and I I hope that maybe you'd be able to help us with the rabies thing. But partly, I just wanted to see you. You know, I didn't I didn't think we'd actually get anywhere. Day well, day three. Day three, yeah. You've passed yeah. out a lot. Yeah, the other days were a bit of a blur. <laughs> yeah. I it's mean, not been easy, but you've done incredibly it's, well. It's great to see you too. I, I hope yeah. that like we didn't steal any of your thunder or anything. I mean, clearly what you've done here is incredible work. I mean, we always knew you were talented at what you do, but like it's, yeah, this is, yeah. This is something on another level. Wouldn't have had this problem if you'd come to the wedding. I say passive aggressively. 
further down the line. Well, we can talk about that um, another time, maybe. Because, you know, it's a, it's a celebration. We're, we're partying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Later, you can tell me what was... There must have been something super Have you important. tried the molten rocks? They're meatballs. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, yeah. 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 Uh-huh. Well, okay, cool. Thanks, Suzette. Um, Great. Okay. Um, I passively, aggressively eat some pepperonis. <laughs> and sort of sits down. Um... You see the uh, you see the professor takes a trolley. He's like, I'm just going to drop these off uh, at, at, at the back back in the the, the necromancy room, the necro uh, no. necrobatory. Oh, oh yes. yes. I was going to go for necronomic necronomic coliseum, but it's, uh, <laughs> uh, it, I'm just going to give these to Astatine. Uh, he sort of wheels them excitedly down down the corridor. Um, and then sort of re-emerges, it's like, right, well, we should have a rabies-free brachiosaur by uh, by tomorrow. I'm just going to go take care of a couple of things, so um, I'll uh, I'll see you all anon. Um, and he sort of like tosses over excitedly to a uh, to a large metal door um, mm. uh, and sort of fishes out a, a keyring from his pocket. And kind of clunk, opens a very heavy lock, and kind of uh, pushes the door open. And uh, just walks in, and the door swings shut of its own accord with a big boom. And um, Brachiosaur's going to be good, isn't it? Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing it. He notices the door says in uh, giant stylized capital letters, "Restricted Area." And it's at this exact moment, while you're all mildly distracted, that a giant pterodactyl just sort of smashes through the the side window of the cafeteria and okay. reaching down. <laughs> With its Good. feet, just sort of picks up Egbert and oh. starts to fly oh, off. Oh, oh, just sort of absconding with your paladin. Yeah, oh seems, no! Seems <laughs> Don't abscond with our paladin. That's our paladin. I'm just he's... dangling underneath. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just sort of moving. moving. It's like a... <laughs> people it's say like that Oxventure is too scared to kill its characters. Yeah, yeah. but now it just it happened. Hey, Canonically no, dead now. It just it's happened. Like, it's that's like Mike. You want to leave the? Get the hell out of here. Please tear up your character sheet. You had a good run. 